antimicrobial susceptibility test that is AST antimicrobial susceptibility test AST now please understand what do, what does it mean listen 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 everyone what I mean what is antimicrobial susceptibility test this is my patient everyone on the screen this is my patient this is a doctor suppose this is me okay and this is the patient my patient blood is having certain microorganism can you see here is my microorganism it can be bacteria it can be virus it can be fungus it can be parasite who is causing disease in my patient my patient is not well because my patient is having certain disease which is caused by this microorganism present inside the patient body that's why patient is coming to me that doctor kindly treat me i'm having certain symptoms blah 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 certain symptoms so i have seen the symptoms of the patient listen to the symptoms examine the patient say uh, taken thorough history now i'm having certain differential diagnosis in my mind and uh, based on which i want to treat my patient i'm having certain diagnosis suppose based on the symptoms that i'm suspecting the patient is having tb or patient is having malaria or patient is having something what so i have done the diagnosis now i want to treat my patient but for treating multiple drugs are available multiple drugs are available okay multiple choice multiple drugs are there the question is i want to give that drug to my patient which will kill this organism which will kill this organism so that my patient will be all right yes or no i want to kill this organism present inside the patient body okay that is the hippocrate oath we all have oath we all have taken we want to work for the benefit for our patient for that we have to kill this microorganism so basically we all are murderers doctors are murderers of whom of bacteria virus fungus or parasite okay because we want to uh, save our patient so i want to kill this microorganism if this microorganism is killed my patient will be all right yes or no so there are multiple drugs available but i want to give that drug that will kill the microorganism now different microorganism have susceptibility for different drugs it is not all microorganism will be killed by all antibiotics okay it is not like that some anti -mic uh, some uh, microorganism are resistant to some antibiotics suppose out of all these drugs this particular microorganism is resistant to this one if you give this one this microorganism will not be killed but if you give this one it will be killed if you give this one it will not be killed because it is having the resistance for that but if you give this one this is killed so uh, how i will choose my antibiotic so before giving the antibiotic to my patient i want to perform antibiotic susceptibility test outside the body only okay that is in vitro only and then the particular drug which is susceptible for this microorganism i will give that drug only i will give that drug directly i will not do hit and try in my patient first i am giving this drug i found the patient is not well oh so this microorganism is resistant to this drug no worries try second drug oh this is resistant to this also not try a third drug no i cannot do this with my patient i directly want to give that drug for which the microorganism is susceptible so it will be you know pinpoint i will hit the microorganism with that particular drug so for that i will take the sample out of the patient body i will take the microorganism out so i will collect the sample in a test tube so this microorganism will come in a test tube now this microorganism is in the test tube i have taken out of the body of the patient you can see i have taken the microorganism in a test tube out of the body of the patient and i will test all these antibiotics on this microorganism in vitro in vitro I will see which antibiotic is killing this microorganism which is not killing the antibiotic which is killing I mean that is susceptible that microorganism is susceptible and the antibiotic which is unable to kill this microorganism I mean that antibiotic is resistant so I will test outside the patient body I will not do the experiments in my patient body my patient is not a guinea pig I will not do experiment try this drug okay it's not working try this one it's not working try this no I will directly give that drug that is susceptible so that is the relevance of antibiotic susceptibility test you got it most of the student don't even understand the concept what we are reading they just read antibiotic susceptibility test I first you understand what does it mean what we want to do what we intend to do got it this is the meaning of antibiotic or antimicrobial susceptibility test which is very important corner in microbiology okay so 
I am a suppose I am a microbiologist and you all are clinicians. Patients are coming to you. Okay. And you have done the diagnosis based on the symptoms and signs of the patient. Okay. Now various antibiotic options are there. You will collect the sample from the patient and send it to my laboratory and give me a call. Madam, I have sent a specimen of a patient to you. I am suspecting this. So kindly test the susceptibility test. Okay. And you let me know which antibiotic is useful in my case. So I will generate my report that this antibiotic is resistant. This is susceptible. This is resistant. This is susceptible and give it to you. Now out of the resistant, don't try any resistant drug in your patient. Okay out of the susceptible one you can choose your option got it so this is how we perform this is the intention we perform antibiotic susceptibility test in microbiology laboratories so that is the introduction you got it so because different bacteria have variation in their susceptibility it is not all bacteria are killed by all antibiotics no they have variation in their susceptibility and that's why ast plays a very important role in treating the patient so there are four different methods there are four i'm sorry yeah this one is second one this is third and fourth four different methods are there okay one by one we will uh, take them the first method is disk diffusion method also known as kirby borer disk diffusion method kirby borer is the scientist who discovered it second is dilution method third is ipsilometer e test very important very frequently mcq come in need pg on this and finally automated uh, automated is y tech Okay, this one is automated. Nowadays, most of the time we are performing automated only. But you should know the principle of all of them. How many of you are with me? Got it? Each and every student who is live, enjoying, understanding. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Got it? Or give a reaction. Give some gesture that you got it. Can we proceed? Are you ready? Chalo. So let's start with the first method. Kirby Borer Disk Diffusion Method. Among them, this is the most common method. The first one is the most common the first method is disk diffusion method. This one is the most common, also known as Kirby. Kirby Borer disk diffusion method. This one is most common. Okay. Listen what we will do. Listen, listen, everyone on the screen. Very good. Very good. Chalo. Come. Everyone on the screen. Listen. So, this is my patient sample. I have taken out of the body of the patient. It contains the bacteria. Can you see the dot, dot, dot? It's bacterial suspension. The sample of my patient. This is also sample of my patient, the same patient. I have divided the sample, okay, in two test tubes, you can say, okay. This is my patient sample, which contain the bacteria. Please understand. This is my specimen or sample, which contain the bacteria. It is known as bacterial suspension, bacterial suspension, okay. The sample can be blurred, can be urine, can be stool. If it is stool, we will make saline suspension. It can be CSF, it can be saliva. Whatever it is, the point is that it contain bacteria. You can see the dot, 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 dot. It is suspension. It contains the bacteria. Okay, now what I will do? Listen, listen, listen. I will take agar. These are agar plates. Which agar? Yesterday I taught you many type of agar. I guess to you only. Huh? Many type of culture media. This is Muller Hilton agar. Muller Hilton agar. It's a sort of basic agar only. Muller Hilton agar is there. We will take agar plate which contain nutrition for the bacteria. Okay, now we will pour. We will pour our specimen here. We will pour our specimen here, okay, and try to do the lawn culture. You know what is lawn culture? Lawn. Lawn is garden. Garden ko bolte hai lawn. You, you, you visit garden, lawn. Lawn means everywhere grass is there, okay. So, I mean the colonies will be everywhere, okay. Everywhere will be colonies. So, I am pouring it here. I am pouring it here. Listen, listen. Now, I will take a filter paper. Suppose this is a filter paper, not complete filter paper. I will cut the filter paper in circular fashion. This is the filter paper cut in circular fashion. Can you see? This is a filter paper I have cut in circular fashion. And I will dip it in the antibiotic. I am having various antibiotics available in my laboratory. Suppose this is penicillin. I am dipping it in it. Suppose I am taking another filter paper. And I am dipping uh, the another filter paper in cephalosporin. So I am having various filter papers dipped in various antibiotic. Dipping in various antibiotic. So this is filter paper dipped in first antibiotic. This is filter paper dipped in second. Likewise, I am having third, fourth, fifth like that. Okay. So this is suppose the I will keep the filter paper at the center of the agar plate. This is the filter paper dipped in penicillin. I am writing P. This is the filter paper dipped in cephalosporin. I am writing C. Okay. These are different antibiotics. I am taking the filter paper, different filter paper, circular fashion. I am dipping in the corresponding antibiotic, whatever antibiotic I want to test. I want to test whether penicillin kill this or not. I want to test whether cephalosporin kill this bacteria or not. So I will take the filter paper, dip in that particular antibiotic and keep it at the center of this plate. Okay, and then I pour the specimen here, I pour the specimen here. Okay, and then I see where are the colonies growing. See the yellow color is the colony. There are two possibilities. See the yellow color are the colonies. I have shown the colonies with yellow color. In the first one, you can see the yellow is at the periphery. 
okay the colonies of the bacteria this dot 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 bacteria these colonies are at the periphery they are not coming closer to the antibiotic because they get a fruit to the antibiotic if they go closer this penicillin will kill them so basically these bacteria are susceptible to penicillin susceptible to this not only penicillin any antibiotic susceptible to this particular antibiotic you have taken here you are getting it that's why they are not going closer you can see here there is clear clear zone there is no colony because if they go closer the antibiotic will kill them okay but here in the second one see the bacteria are touching the rim touching the rim of this antibiotic of this filter paper they don't get a fruit of cephalosporin so here the bacteria in this case the bacteria are resistant to this particular antibiotic whatever antibiotic i am not interested in the name of antibiotic it can be cephalosporin or whatever you have taken the filter paper dipped in you are getting it so if we so this clear zone is known as zone of inhibition we have to measure the zone of inhibition it is known as zone of inhibition okay so can i say here zone of inhibition is present and can i say here zone of inhibition is absent the clear zone how many of you getting it how many of you didn't getting it kuch bolo say something ha huh? so zone of inhibition present means the organism is susceptible to that antibiotic and zone of inhibition is absent means the organism is resistant to that antibiotic people come on ha huh? so it's the zone of inhibition is going to decide so you will see ma'am how to measure the zone of inhibition ha huh? so you have to measure it's very small you have to measure with an instrument known as vernier caliper have you heard this instrument seen this instrument in the laboratory vernier 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 caliper vernier caliper is an instrument with which we will measure the zone of inhibition and decide whether the particular organism is susceptible or resistant now you will see ma'am so many agar pet i want to test suppose uh, 20 antibiotics so can i take 20 different plates no you can take multiple filter papers 20 different filter papers like the circular circular small and you can arrange all of them on one plate also Just, this is just for the sake of uh, understanding. I have taken two different Muller Hilton agar. You take only one Muller Hilton agar, one single Muller Hilton agar, and you take different antibiotics. So this is my first antibiotic filter paper. This is my second antibiotic filter paper. This is my third antibiotic filter paper. This is my fourth antibiotic. Likewise, you are getting it. I will write the numbers inside that. So this is first, second, third, fourth. Fifth one may be penicillin, one is cephalosporin, one is aminoglycoside. Likewise, I have taken different. I can take many on one single plate only. And background, me can you see the whitish color? That is the colony, yellowish white color. That is the colony. Now see the zone of inhibition. Here I get a big zone of inhibition in this. Okay, here I will get nearly no zone of inhibition, almost null. Here little bit intermediate between between the two. So you have to measure the zone of inhibition with the help of Vernier caliper. now if this question is coming in your university exam you have to write down the steps what are the steps people first of all take your bacterial suspension that is your specimen first of all take your suspension in your saline the specimen in the saline then take muller hilton agar mha this is muller hilton agar now pour the specimen here pour the specimen here spread it make a lawn culture make a lawn culture you can see the background white color is a lawn culture now take the disc of the antibiotic circular filter paper is known as disc these circular filter paper are known as disc can you see take the disc of your antimicrobial and put it here different antibiotic now wait for 37 uh, 837 degree for next 24 hours next 20 to 24 hours you have to wait so that colonies grow and after that measures zoi zone of inhibition with the help of vernier caliper measure them now based on this measurement we have the algorithm set okay given by the who we have the algorithm set so for suppose this is an antibiotic ceftazidim ceftazidim if the zone of inhibition is more than 21 mm then i will say it is resistant uh, if the zone of inhibition is uh, uh, more than 21 mm then i will say it's sensitive if it is less than 17 cm it is resistant if it is between the two it's intermediate so you have to measure you don't have to learn these numbers for your understanding i told you you have to measure the zone of inhibition okay if it is less the organism is susceptible if it is more the organism is resistant and if it is intermediate not less not more so the organism is intermediate okay so don't give intermediate wale antibiotic to your patient try to give susceptible if the susceptible is not there all of them are resistant then you can go with the intermediate one okay that is your preference being being a doctor i will generate my report like this being a microbiologist so you are the clinician you are going to decide for your patient which is the best antibiotic you want to give your patient uh, so that you are hitting the organism
for this particular organism suppose i will generate my report like this this is the report so i have applied all these antibiotics in my laboratory and this is my report now based on my report you see which organism is susceptible which is resistant and you decide yourself that which antibiotic is best for your patient it is not my job it is not my call i am a microbiologist suppose i am a microbiologist it is not my call it is the call of a clinician who is going to decide that among them which is the best antibiotic for your patient being a microbiologist my job is that my responsibility is that i will give you this complete report in which i have performed the test of all these antibiotics on the sample you have provided you have provided me this sample from your patient i will apply all the available antibiotics on that now you give the best antibiotic suitable for your patient it's your choice yes got it that was the first method the second method is dilution test what is dilution test the second method is dilution test listen this test is diffusion test here it was diffusing na i mean antibiotic was diffusing out na uh you didn't ask him ma'am why there is no growth in the zone of inhibition actually antibiotic is diffusing out here it is diffusing i'm using the word diffusion diffusion antibiotic is diffusing out and killing the bacteria present in this zone so bacteria in the zone are killed because the bacteria is susceptible so in this zone of inhibition i got no bacteria it is due to diffusion of the antibiotic now i will not do diffusion i will do dilution hello everyone i hope you found this concept clear and easy to understand if you had like to dive deeper into this topic and master it with full length lectures you can subscribe my app that is medlife by dr priyanka so join me for the live sessions where we break down the complex topics in a way that makes them simple and high yield for exams see you inside Thank you.